Hey there. Hello. This is Sharon with Spare Time Art Design. I'm going to be doing another um, metallic pour because I love metallics. So let me show you really quick what colors I'm going to be using. There's really no rhyme or reason. I just picked the brightest metallic colors that I could find and that's what I'm going to use. So I have Crystal Green, Deco Art Metallic, and I have Festive Red, Deco Art Metallic, and I have Teal, Deco Art Metallic, and I have Purple Flash, Folk Art Color Shift. Okay, I love Color Shift, it's so cool. All right, and I have Flow Troll. Don't need the flow trial right now but I have my mixed up white that's just mixed up with a little bit of Liquitex pouring medium and flow trial and it's in my cup here and then I have silver which is just mixed with flow trial and a little bit of Liquitex so I have them all in my cups here I'm going to pour each color separately and I'm going to show you here what I have to pour in. I made this, um, actually I found this today while my son and I were at um, thrift stores looking for record albums for me to pour on and I found this spatula. Spatula, what am I talking about? It's a colander, a strainer. I'm losing my mind. I ate way too much food at dinner today. So what I did, since it sits pretty low to the ground, I put a little cap underneath it to kind of keep it from hitting the ground. And it's looking kind of crooked there. Hmm, well that's interesting. Maybe it's just a tad bit, bit crooked. Well, I'm going to have to fix that because it sat fine. It sat just fine when I um, had it on the ground, on the table. So, I don't know. It's interesting. I don't know why. Well, there we go. There we go. Now it's sitting straight. Okay. There's not a whole lot under here except for a couple of little notches that stick out. So, all right, that'll work. So I have a 12 by 12 canvas here. Nice and tight. There we go. Now that sits better since it's flat. My box is kind of, kind of wonky. Wonky is the word of the day, by the way. I use that word all the time, so. So, I'm not gonna put any base coat on here. I'm gonna do the, the pour in the colander until I get some of it coming out. And then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna pour up here. Another reason why I put that there so it doesn't kind of fill up in the little well that's there. And it's gonna be up higher and it's gonna do some drips and hopefully it'll make a cool pattern in the middle. That's the plan. Now we all know with poor painting that nothing goes as planned unless you're really, really good at this and you know what you're doing. I kinda know what I'm doing. I know enough to not make something completely ugly or to get the paint all over. I'm pretty good at controlling it now, but Still, I'm not real good at knowing what my outcome is gonna be before I pour it because I'm not used to the paints like um, some other people are. So, let's see what I can do here to see if we can get something looking kinda of cool. Let me grab some gloves really quick. I'm supposed to have these out and ready, but kind of in a food coma. I went out to dinner 
with my son for Mother's Day. We went to Texas Roadhouse and he had steak and shrimp and I had salmon and um, steak fries and salad. And oh my God, it was so good. I love salmon and I could eat it every day of my life. I used to live in the Pacific Northwest and I could go out to the bay and catch my own salmon or we'd drive two hours to the ocean and go out and get king salmon out of the Pacific Ocean and it was fabulous. And then I moved to the East Coast and although the East Coast is nice, I like it, the salmon just isn't quite as good as Pacific salmon fresh out of the ocean. Okay, so I was spoiled for 40 years in Washington State with fresh salmon. So I guess you could call me a salmon snob. But anyway, I had salmon today and it was really good. So I am kind of in a food coma. I usually don't eat that much. I eat, usually eat pretty light, but it was way too good. All right, let's start out with a little bit of white here. I'll quit talking for a little while and see what we can do here. All right, so we got some white. Let's go with some of this purple. Love this color shift purple. I don't know why I put that right directly in the middle because I know there's a cap underneath there. Is there anything coming out? Yes, it is. Okay. So, in between the colors, I'm going to put some silver. And my dog's looking at me like, Mom, you're doing it again. Who are you talking to? Just, just talking, kid. All right, where's my tea? Gotta have a drink of my tea. When I talk, my throat gets dry. All right, what do we got here? I think I need to put something under my box because it kind of, yeah, that might be a little bit too much. I'll put my phone case underneath there. So I have to take my phone out of the case in order to put it in the tripod, which scares the crap out of me because I'm always afraid it's going to fall out and land right in my paint. Okay, let's put some red in here. All right. And some more silver. And I've got silver in my bottle. I just didn't know how thick this was, so I wanted to Put it in a cup to make sure it wasn't too thick. Take a peek here and see what it's doing. Okay, that's looking pretty. All right, let's go with some turquoise. This turquoise is so pretty. I love turquoise. And some more silver. Okay, it's starting to work its way out there. It's looking pretty snazzy. And we'll go with this nice bright green. Oh, and by the way, I did put silicone in the bright colors. I did not put silicone in the white or the silver. Okay, just so you know. All right, let's throw some more white in here. Let's just go right around this ring right here. I have to say, this kind of painting is so addicting. 
That's looking really pretty. Very, very pretty. All right, some more purple. I gotta save some paint for when I flip it over too. quiet in here. All right, I'm going to throw some more silver in my cup. So I think I did add a little bit of flow troll to this. Let me see. Nah, it's not too bad. A little more silver. I'm supposed to get more thunderstorms tonight sometime. I don't know if we're going to get it here in this area or if it's going to be further up north or what it's going to do, but I've had some pretty crazy storms lately. Uh, let's throw a little bit more white in there something that doesn't have silicone in it so hopefully it will react in some way there we go it's looking pretty good it's really pretty all right so let's go with turquoise so did everybody have a good mother's day I hope I lost my mom when I was 27 so Mother's Day has been good for me because I have a son but not good for me because I miss my mom but I just am glad that I have a wonderful son who loves his mom and wants to spend time with me on Mother's Day his wife stayed, he lives about an hour and a half away from me. So his wife spent time with her mom and he came over and we spent time together, which is pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna lift this up. flip it over. Now I don't really want to lay this in there so I guess I'll just hold it here and see what happens. Remember this is an experiment. Get some drips going in there and see what happens. Yeah, I really don't want to lay this in the paint. Yep, oh, so I stick my hand in it instead. Definitely going to have enough paint, that's for sure. And once again, this is an experiment, so what happens, happens. And let me take my case out of there because now it's running the other way.
Okay, get this turquoise in here. And some more white. to the green. Oh, and guess who forgot her plate for her colander? interesting. Okay, so let's give it a torch, shall we? Okay, so I think I held the, cal the colander up too high, so the results for the let it drip from higher up didn't come out so great so I'm gonna kind of get rid of that I think I wish I had a way to spin it and then it would all come out nice some of this here. Not the greatest looking. And like I said, this is an experiment. Not all experiments turn out well. Yeah, well... This is a bust. Not I was hoping for. At all. Well, the stuff in the box is pretty. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna take a spatula and scoop it up on a spatula and just kind of lay it right across there. the tilt. I have a feeling this is going to be scraped. <laughs> this is it's really ugly. Really, really ugly. Yeah, that's not pretty at all. Big fail. Oh, it's getting muddy. Really, really muddy. Really, really bad. So guess what? When all else fails, we scrape and we do it over again. Oh, 
have a thing. I have a thing. Huh. Well, you know what? This is a bust. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape all this paint off. Scoop it all up out of my box. Put it in the container to get it off the box. So my canvas isn't waiting in paint. Yeah. And I think I need to make my paint a tad bit thicker. I want to do this. So, and I just, I don't like those colors together. I think it looks crappy. So, I am going to scrape this and clean it off and this is what happens to everybody comes out like crap you scrape your canvas you shrug it off and you just start over and do another one okay so this is like no big deal it happens it's an experiment I don't want to leave it on the canvas because it's really really ugly so I'm just gonna get rid of it and I'm gonna start over and I'm gonna find some different colors and I'm going to clean out my strainer and we're going to do something completely different. Who knows? But I'll be back and I'll record it so you can see it. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this video so you can see my disaster. And what we can do to rectify it. There was no saving this though. I mean, it was... It was muddying up really really quick so I probably could have swiped it but I don't know it was just not working I think my paints were too thin so with a strainer I think we need to thicken them up thicken them thicken them up a bit there I said it okay so I'm gonna sign off here and I'm going to regroup and come up with another plan. So I'll be back, bye.